you can see very clear and definitely sun there. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. The sun bear is the least known of the eight bear species in the world, highly threatened by habitat loss and poaching throughout its range in Southeast Asia. And I'm here in RER starting a research project on the globally threatened sun bear. Restorasi ekosistem Riau mempunyai area kurang lebih 150.000 hektar hutan rawa gambut, area yang mampu menyerap karbon. Jika area ini rusak, akan berpengaruh kepada perubahan iklim secara global. Area berkomitmen untuk merestorasi dan memproteksi area ini. We have this mixed landscape of the peatland swamp forest, of these riparian forest corridors and the acacia plantations and the fact we don't know anything particularly about sun bears in this part of its range makes this a really important landscape to study the bear and really exciting opportunity. And, uh, yes. Uh, and there's climbing up. You can see very clear and definitely sun bear. Yeah? Yeah. Because of the way the landscape's managed and protected, poaching isn't a big concern. So what we can focus on here is how sun bears use the forest and how changes to the forest might influence the sun bear population. Sun bears are a difficult species to survey directly. They tend to avoid human activity. There are over 30 camera traps that have been set across the different forest types throughout the landscape for surveying actually not just sun bear but other, for other really important biodiversity. We're looking in habitat plots where we find signs of bears compared to areas of the forest where we don't find signs of bears. And then we can start to evaluate what's the difference between those two. Globally, we don't know a huge amount about the current situation of population sizes of sun bears. And this is a priority for the bear specialist group. If we can establish that, that really contributes to our global understanding and in terms of our conservation evaluation of this threatened species. Penelitian yang dilakukan oleh David Lee sangat membantu memberikan data dan informasi sebaran satwa beruang madu ini di area RIR, status populasinya dan ketersediaan pakan yang ada di area RIR sehingga membantu dalam melakukan upaya-upaya kegiatan konservasi dan pengelolaan kawasan di area RIR.